How big is the beef between 21 Savage and 6ix9ine? Akimedius shared a 10 minute video recording from Blueface's manager on Thursday, August 5th that shows Blueface threatening to hurt the Slaughter Gang rapper. And 6ix9ine foreshadowing his willingness to act as Don King, a fallout between the two began earlier this week after tensions erupted over 21 Savage's opinion on WAC 100's face to face interview with Akimedius for his off the record podcast. The rapper was heard saying, I'd say you're lame for agreeing with anything 6ix9ine says, opening the floor to 21 Savage. After several minutes of back and forth bickering and talking over one another, the conversation escalated to the point where WAC 100 chose the fight. WAC 100 greeted his nephew by saying, 21, I've known you all my life, and we've always been good friends. I know you not have that energy if you were standing right in front of me right now. Reasons for the fight. In the meantime, a heated battle between Takashi 6ix9ine, WAC 100, and 21 Savage raged between Kanye West's Donda and Kanye West's Donda. Many insults and threats were exchanged. Social media has a video of the entire conversation. 21 mentioned WAC being too lame to agree with Takashi's point, which created a tense environment. It was 21 statements in which the gangster and rat could not agree on anything in their life that went verbally indecent. Ah, you must burn. People continued to argue verbally, and there seemed to be no limit to their effort. We are also on the incident list if we include the threat of beating up 21 that WAC made. WAC continued yelling when 6ix9ine encouraged 21 to accept, but it wasn't enough to convince 21 to accept the invite. Savage took Wack's threat in stride, deciding to tell him to say less. After appearing on Akimedi's podcast just a few days earlier, Wack and 6ix9ine debated what it meant to be street in hip hop's world. Following Wack's remark, 6ix9ine laughed several times. The rapper shared that if he saw someone like Meek Mill, with whom Wack has beef, at the Grammys or Emmys, a fight would ensue immediately. It was a well known fact that 21 Savage and 6ix9ine were at the same club at the same time per the video, but there wasn't a thing said about it. 6ix9ine shared the video on his Instagram page and said that he would post it on Wednesday night, August 4th. He admitted he spoke to 6ix9ine over the phone about their beef. It took the two men 30 to 40 minutes to talk on the phone. Wack informed the group. Wack asked why they were communicating through the phone, to which 21 replied, That's asking him why he speaks the way he does. Man, I am not going to do that fake gangster stuff on Clubhouse. There was another escalation when Wack 100 said 21 Savage had demanded a fight on the phone with 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine and 21 got into an argument as well, and 21 said, I'm not Wack, which infuriated Wack. The energy 21 excuse as the character is not the same in person, according to Wack. The song Snitches and Rats, performing by 21 Savage and Metro Boomin, was released on 21 Savage album Savage Mode 2 last year. Fans suspect that 21 was mocking 6ix9ine with the song, so 21 responded on Instagram Live by stating that 6ix9ine ain't the only rat in America. Besides the song, 21 made clear he doesn't mess with rats. Drake and Busha T have made some issues going back quite a few years. Initially, Pusha and No Malice the Clips had beef with Lil Wayne, which reportedly began over a track in their collaboration, What Happens to That Boy. Drake's connection to Wayne led him to becoming a target. 2011 marked the beginning of Drake and Pusha's beef. It was rumored that Drake utilized a sample of Pusha's song, Don't Mess With Me, to diss Pusha in the song. The following year, Pusha released the album Exodus 23-1, spat between Drake and Pusha. Drake responded to Pusha T's threats on Tuscan Leather from his 2013 album, Nothing Was The Same, by shooting Lil Wayne on your favorite rapper, then Pusha T dropped it on his 2018 album Daytona, rekindling the rivalry between him and Drake. Pusha called Drake out for using Ghost Riders, and Drake responded with Duppy Freestyle. He took shots at both Pusha and Drake and Kanye West. In response, Pusha released The Story of Added On. The artwork showed Drake wearing a carnival display old photo shoot with blackface. It garnered a lot of tension and resulted in plenty of reactions, particularly among hip hop fans. One of Pusha's most gasping bars when Drake revealed that a secret son was being raised. Rapper Drake later confirmed his biological son in the songs like Emotionless and March 13th off his 2018 Scorpion album. In addition to Adonis, Drizzy is the father of three children by former adult film star Sophie Bruce Sox. Pusha and Drake have not been reconciled since Drake said he had no intention to do so in 2019. Drake added subliminal bars to Hedy's only freestyle when his diss track hit the internet. Last year, the Virginia rapper appeared to diss Aubrey on a leaked Pop Smoke song. This beef has never been officially ended, but it's currently inactive. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, so you never miss any amazing video from us. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in our next video.